Blessing someone today. Akaya, Akaya, Akaji, Oba, Nene. Hey, yo, 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 yo. Yo, 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 yo. yo, yo. yo, yo, yo. Akaya, Akaya, Akaji, Hova, Mimi. Yo, 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 yo. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo, yo. Fire, or die by fire. This year, come Yo, 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 Aba. Yo, 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 
Me... Not... Yeah, God bless you. Ozai. No, because I'm in here. Huh? Because I'm in here. What's it say? Come on, Minty. No, can they all come on, Minty? Huh? Me babiti, me babiti, me babiti. Yeah, so God bless you each and everyone for having time and um, coming to watch um, the Israel powers that God has given unto us because as we all know, God is the king of Israel. And uh, my name is Prophet Rindo Fudujib, the eager prophet. I am the general of a sea of God's crown chapel. Um, as we all know that um, God has been so gracious to us from January until um, December. Today is December, I think, is it 11th or 12th or something. Let me, let me, let me check the date well. Um, today is, um, um, what is today's date? Huh? Uh, today might be 12 or something. Okay, fine. Yeah. Uh, today might be 12 or something um, but anyway I just I just came your way to thank God for our lives as we still have the gift of life to live and um, as year goes and as year comes we all know that um, things are there in your name send your mother be we are see any other and um if we are see we now you're buying no a fibia no pain for see a fibia one is sign so what i say uh -huh. i am paying for see a fibia one is sign there are some years a lot of calamities that are just um packed within it but um to god be the glory in even in the those days that our forefathers were having people that they consult they go to them and they talk to them about what is ahead of them what is going to happen what is coming they have to tell them the bad and the good so that if it is bad they have to know how to work upon it and if it is evil they will know uh, if it is good they will know how to work upon it and don't forget life is full of um mysteries okay yes life is full of mysteries the bad and the good they all come together to make life and nobody that ever lived on this earth who wants to make it will ever sit and um will not take um um greatness will, will take greatness on silver platter no it, it, it's not going to happen anywhere if you want to become great there are a lot of things that you're going through and um lo and behold there are people that god blessed them so much and they had the chance to meet great great prophets and they directed their lives and their life became a blessing now you have to understand this for sure um prophecies does not come just to scatter people or to put fear and panic into people no prophecies are awareness it gives us awareness it opens our eyes to know what is coming what is ahead of us and uh, most of the times i hope in my country ghana here when you are a prophet and you give prophecy um they call you doom prophet or you say you are coming to bring fear and panic but these are one of the accurate prophecies that are good for us that we will know the intentions of the enemy and what the enemy is up to and don't forget that the reason why we take security people that these security people will make sure or that um the bad ones that are coming in they will just prevent them so security is there for prevention security is there to make sure that the evil will not enter into their camp that is why we have even advanced to get this all these uh electronics things that they call it uh, security cameras and all that so that even if the eye of the security man will not notice it the eye of the camera will able to see so you got to understand that whenever prophecies are coming it's not because we want just to scatter people or fear, put fear in people but it's, it's an awareness it's, a, it's something that we're telling people that just be aware of what is about to come so that 
you will prevent yourself from it and lo and behold um there are so many prophecies that have been coming myself god have used me to give a lot of uh, um, powerful prophecies from the camp of the enemy just to hit people and destroy them and by my prophecies a lot of lies have been saved people that i told them that sleep for three days don't come out just be in your room their lives have been saved people that just pretended that they wouldn't listen to whatever you are saying crashed they just just crashed down so you got to understand that we don't just prophesy we we, we we just prophesy for people to be saved you know jesus said that the thief does not come at but he came to steal to destroy and to kill and, and as usual i know people just come out and make fun that hey the prophets have come again the prophets have come again 31st we are waiting for them and um, i've seen some videos people are warning prophets young people are warning prophets that if you are a prophet come and prophesy 31st you see what will happen to you now listen i have started this prophecy now listen to me i've started this prophecy now all these people that have started and they are saying if you are a man like us come and prophesy and see what will happen to you listen if god is speaking no man can stop the voice of god you got to understand this you are just a human being and you are just talking you are just a human being you have allowed yourself for devil to influence you and you are just talking listen just be very careful because when god wants to save people and he wants to deliver people you are nothing you got to understand that you are nothing. So you have to know that when God wants to save his people, the devil always wants to try to bring God's people down. So you have to understand that all these people that are coming on social media and they are saying that uh, um, if, if we are waiting for the Ghanaian prophets, the doom prophets to come and prophesy and say that this and this, uh, I am starting this prophecy right now. I'm starting this prophecy right now. I am giving this prophetic word that is about to happen. The things that are about to happen. And the things that are about to, um, the, the things that are ahead of us. I'm about to give it right now. I'm about to give it right now. This is a leadership by the spirit, not a leadership by the flesh. We are not led by the flesh. We are led in the spirit. So those of you that have come out and have allowed yourself for the devil to use and say, we, we, we are warning all the prophets. How dare you come out and say, I'm warning all the prophets. What kind of power do you have? What kind of authority do you have? Then just stretch forth your hand and say, this prophet, I warn you, don't do this, don't do that. Sometimes there are some of you here, we just watch you and we laugh. Yes, we just watch you and you laugh because we see that you got no power, you got nothing. You just avail yourself for the devil to use. Now, Jesus told the people of Jerusalem, he said, you guys, you kill your prophets. You are very lucky you have prophets, but you just kill them. But listen, even if you want the mouth of the prophets to be shut, the word of God, what is the strong prophecy? It can never be shut. Nobody can stop the voice of God. Nobody. Nobody can stop the voice of nobody born on this world can stop the voice of God because God is a spirit and as God is a spirit Nobody can stop the voice of God and when God is ready to deliver his word Nobody born of a woman can tell God that I'm stopping you nobody Nobody we have to thank God for giving such prophets in our nation that whenever things are about to come We just review them people that are obedient people that are wise they listen to them and they walk through it now, referring to some prophecies that by God's grace, God have used me to give. Not, 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 not remembering people's sadness and all that. Go, go, to my, go to my page and read all the prophetic messages that God through me gave. In the nation Ghana, one of them has fallen. And if they were smart and they would have listened to all these prophetic messages, those things wouldn't have happened. All these evil calamities wouldn't have happened. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Recently, the prophetic word that God gave to me concerning um, these people about the secular people, you know, they did the prophetic direction that I told them to do. And now, Sekiu is free. So the demonic thing that they plotted that would have come against them, God just set them free. You have to understand that in this world, there is no man, there is no man that come out, out and speak that has no spirit that is backing him or her. Everybody, now even as, as I'm speaking, there are people that have gone so far to consult all their malams and all that, telling them what is ahead of them, what is about to come. Are you getting me? So some of you that, um, by God's grace, when it is about, um, the, the, the year is about to close, there is another chapter that is about to be open. Don't forget, 2019 is, is, is coming to a closure. A new thing is going to be open. So we don't know what is ahead of us. It, when you go to the Galland, there are even when you go to fishing, there are people that go and pour libation and tell the gods that this year, please help us. Whatever evil that is coming, make sure you abort them. So the evil that they will say, they will repeat them, accident and all that. But there are some people who are so lucky that when the prophets are prophesying, by God's grace, God will just mention your name to them. And they just come out and tell you that this and that and that is about to happen. Listen, don't listen to people to destroy your future. Don't listen to people to destroy whatever God has destined for your life. 
There are people, they are nobody on this world. They are nobody. So if you, you carry the future of the nation, one, if you carry the future of your people, two, three, if you carry the future of the next generation and any prophetic word that comes for you, you have to make sure you work on it and stop it. Listen, there is something that is always interesting that I always tell people. And this is how it goes. Look at somebody like David. Now, the Samuel, the prophet, entered into the house of Jesse. And when Samuel entered into the house of Jesse, he said, Is anyone there? Um, I want to annoy one of your sons because God spoke to me that I have to come around. Now, when he got there, now he called all the sons. He had performed every word that he needed to do for them. But finally, none of the children who were in the house qualified. So he said, Is he all the, 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 these of your sons? Are they all of them? Can, can I get some of them? Now he said, yes, there is another one. He said, go and call him. Then when David was coming, God confirmed that this guy, I want to use him. Now, after God had anointed David to become a great man, that was when all eyes started looking out for him. When David was a shepherd boy, when David was a shepherd boy, nobody knew him. But when he came to the light, that was when people started knowing him. And when people began to know him, that was when they, there was an attack on David's life. Until you come to the light, nobody will come after you. So some of you that are saying, eh, so Ghana prophet, it's only celebrities that you prophesy to. So now listen to me. These people that are becoming the stars of the nation, that are becoming the eye of their family. So if something evil is coming and we tell them that this and that and that and that and that, are we doing crime to them? Are we destroying their future? What are we doing to them? Are we trying to destroy them or what? Yes, I am and I said, what I say, Obi or Yah ni o wo wiasi, Obi or Abrimpo wo wiasi. And when you force a dominant side your son to catch it, it is a bit bit too Obi, but it is bit too Obi. Now say by the grace of God, God open our eyes to see and tell the person say say ni say ni say never a your bonnet. Now there are so many ways that God speaks to us. If you maybe a send you a number can't do you have to go to the person and tell the person. If you a send you a one, you make a tell what. I was say we can no Obi ati bi because ni people abaya buy national asset. Say national asset no abaya buy no. Because Obi our take us appear who will be anti. But there are people when they die today, the whole world will mourn for them. Everybody will weep for them. They are the people that will protect them. Now, when we hear near Wakofa prophet in Nigeria, when David became a king, that was when God anointed a prophet for David. Now, don't forget me. When David was a shepherd boy, when he was in the bush looking for his father's sheep, no prophet went to the life of David. No prophet went to prophesy to David until God even spoke to him. Until God even spoke to um, Samuel that he should go and anoint one of the sons. Even when he saw David, he did not even um, think that he is going to be one of the greatest guys that God wants to use to become a blessing. So you have to understand, after David had been anointed and he came to the light, that was when people started coming after the life of David. Including his own brothers, they wanted to destroy him, they wanted to kill him. You, so you have to understand, until you come to the light, no spirit will be ever ready to come and destroy you. So people that carry the future, people that carry destinies of people, they are the very people the enemy is after. And you want to be metana baby me can't show you for me say, one so be your tear crossing come. You cannot detect how we should prophesy. We, you cannot tell us how we should prophesy. That is the person we will mention the name and call about. The person is not your family member. It is a something I will want to know. We will move on. And one is our baby But the family will be affected. So there are some of you you have to understand and take this thing serious from me. If God speaks, He has spoken. Nobody can bring the voice of God down. Nobody. So when God had anointed David and have raised him, and what and I would say, I can for I will David home. David the team will no be sorry to you. David the team will no be bopo to you. David the team will not be yana do so be kun David. No, nobody ever planned to kill David. But a brother David be your brain pump be your kesiye. Obe peja you know that was when it started. Even or he never cry yana do so be kun. The one that is already on the throne decided to kill David. Why? Because he saw something in David. He saw greatness in David. You see, until they see your greatness, they will not come after you. But when they see your greatness, that is when they will come after you and come and destroy you. It is a one nami atuna so nami mo di fubi bo di sa wo bibi baba tuwa masa. And now when you to a to a, and maybe the attempt may be a one person and comes to far who go straight and focus on the prophecy. So I'm about to pray, I'm about to pray. No one can tell about this, about the midawasi. So when I'm with the first one, can't seem to say the attempt. And then go for who need a be for and come to far. No one must come. No one can away. And away, and away, and away, and away. The massa. I seem to have no man to show you. Be be bad, no man to feel you. And one can say with him and at the end of the course. 
What I say, a hey, one casa with him, Nadia Nicoso. The dose of you people that have ratified us, some go from coma. Nama Baba said, Catrava Jack, Catrava Jack, Namaka can some Nadia. You have to be very careful. Oko Hospital, Nasa Doctor S. Canu, William, no Cataswana or Sakra UGD. Oko Hospital, Doctor S. Canu, William, no Cataswana or Sakra UGD. Some machine, I shall William. And you don't can any you, and your machine, and a shell with him, and a cast as a natural. Now, some machine you are, it will be your more, and you will need be also a shiny passable, a catcher. Now, say, what's up with the machine be grabber? Uko jinama diwo utimu biyane yi Uko jinama diwo akhirwa biyane yi Enti se masini a ni pa yi mpoku anu Eka listen We will never allow technology to take over the prophetic Ye ma technology to take over the prophetic Nanko ubi ba aswabi niya katen si ma mousa uye mnyo mnyo nase Ampa obeko hospital no Obeko akwa tekena masini ya detecte sa ampani ye mnyo mnyo This is the power of God Na me tu mi be kana masini swa konfermi What ya say Enti you have to understand you guys, you have to come to a point and you have to know this that God wants to deliver you, God wants to save you. And no did and come send you a DA ever. Ah, a year, Juma. It is an amaya to not see a body. You see, sometimes I, I can't really get people. When we go back to the old prophecies and come send Nangopo, I find your swasses, our Ghana, not only I the prophet too, but the prophets in general. The prophets in general. Huh? And come send me, I find your swasses, our Ghana. So powerful and very great and very wonderful. Uh, why? Because God wants to save his people. Mami fami nkom se bikula ye karenta. Nenko fo di di atemo mo kasa fa hon. Mami fami tuja. About Afcon. Afcon 2019. Elie ben eradian kanshre me. Eradian kanshre me. Sa time no. Na ma eradian kanshre me se. Ya de bon ya beko akobono Egypti. Now, much of Kako Egypt in Ghana, the Baba. Satan Kronom confirm himself Kako Bobo no Egypt too. They are not even confirmed. They are never even confirmed that they are going to play the football in Egypt. But God who sees everything, God just spoke to me that they are going to play it in Egypt and Ghana will bring the cup. And truly, truly, a mobile lot of Nako see Egypt. What happened next? And Nanko Pan Katrama said, they should place a Samotan and they die you only on the field. They are going to move on for Mamo. Omo de ma bo Ghana ya de cap on the paper. What happened? And no na ti ena your friends the prophet di mando bedu kubi. Eba sang kom ka se. Wa muno se Ghana ya fa cap on the map. Now e di ebenti di fa cap on the map. Ene radek ma meka di kunta ya fa cap on the map Ghana. Se adi ema ya fa cap on the map Ghana no. Ene se swamo fa de de ayu ni a samo di anstati ya ya fa cap on the map Ghana two. Eh, ne kwa se confusing esi. Eh wa omo ntem se confusing si ya cap on the swa ma. E di ebenti si ye. E di ebenti si ye. Right before your cock of a ball, not Captain Confusion has started. Right before your cock of a ball, not Captain Confusion has started. If you have a ball, you'll be in your cup. Never go far, but until you are so far, or moon yenny, say, if you're prophet and comes and I'm him. Damn! What did you come say? What did you come say? Yes, some come mark one trip, or they follow some come jatu and one you did for papa, or they follow some come mark one trip, or no, and I have major prophet. Or no, I have my job prophet. Yeah, yeah, some come so be mrais kau. Yeah, some come say, yeah, some come at no be mrai has sorry. No, I am content with the few members that I have. Me means sorry, my yet ten pay. I appreciate them. Only ten members of my church is is so big for me because I'm not after crowd. I am after souls. I'm not after money. I am after the souls of the people. Me must some come for so many years. Come in, come say peska. Come in, yami who say tam. Some didn't come see I am I am a mortal multi millionaire. I'm telling you, Obi buy me home. I two million dollars. Now my son in come. Now what we catch him there, master. There are things you don't have to go far. So listen to me as a prophet of God. It is saying I may have to. Now some come see me pay, master. Me find your money ago. It is at the end of the day they see him. Confusion is starting with the captaincy. Confusion is starting with the captaincy. No dear man, I buy you. A dear bad in the back, I can't hear my fear. You're perfect now. Come for me, my dear. But you could be constant. If you want to send for Baba, sorry, they said, Ah, if you prophet gave this prophecy, and then I may not be up, could be also gave this prophecy. So let's value the prophecies and see what has happened. Massa, you see the same God speaking this and that. We say in part and we prophesy in part. We be who dear, but now we in so who dear Baba see it. It's near carrying it up on me at the year to we are here, Baba. See, twenty twenty. Now, a lot of prophecies are coming. But me, as a prophet of God, I make coupon catch up. Seven from in comes to justice here. That is why I'm here to give the prophetic word that God has given to me. And this prophecy needs to be taken serious. Yeah, this prophecy needs to be taken serious because I am the oracle of God. I'm the eye. 
of people. My name is the Eagle Prophet. That is me. I see, I hear, and I deliver as God says I have to deliver. In Timua, everybody fire social and come one. Now we have social media. Now more churchy and come channel. You have to think twice and you have to be very careful. Now send me between and can we know deep for be a man a catcher wa and can one cause our seven no to be any answer. I say you will never be a woman who we are sick. Huh? There are people they are dead today. If they would have gotten some people prophets to tell them that this evil is coming, they wouldn't have been victims of death. I'm telling you, there are people, there are people they are victims of disaster. If they had gotten people, my nigga said me tell me, there was a time here, there was a guy who came to my church and I gave him a prophecy. I said, I saw you dying in a bus. In fact, it catch fire. And I saw it on the road of Kentampo. So young man, I am telling you, be very careful. When a young man was leaving my church, he was making fun of me. He was mocking me say, I eagle prophet and I can't can the come so we are no bit me. And the guy told him, Don't joke with this young man. His prophecies are very dangerous. He said, Munjana Samomano. Now what happened? And Chebi, I mean, cash for you. And Chebi, I mean, come, you know, can I say, I work in Tampa. The guy was included. He was, he's dead now. Was sick. You see, when prophecies come, don't joke with them. All. Sometimes me, me, we are so phobia. Everybody, if we are so sick, one number ten, some come say we're free now. Me, dad, we're in come say we're free now. Me, free now. If that prophecy is not from God, where does, where is it coming from? If that prophecy is not, where is it coming from? Tell me. There are people, they don't know anything. They just come on social media and say, this prophecy is fake. This prophecy does not come from God. If God is speaking to me, does it mean that he should come and talk to you? If God is talking to a prophet, does it mean he should... I, I, are you God's messenger? Huh? Are you the spokesman of God? That when God wants to speak to his prophet, he should come to you and tell you that this and that and that I'm about to tell. So listen, I am warning some of the men of God. Charlie, you guys should be very careful and learn much wisdom. You guys should be very careful and learn much wisdom. There are some people they say there are prophets, they are not permitted to prophesy about people who are in the power in the spirit of God. Can you limit it? Let me tell you, listen, this is the time that people have to be very careful and be very serious. Listen, this is the time people have to be very careful and be very serious. We are just educating people and telling people that they have to wise up. These people, some of them are demons, they are evil people. They are witches, they carry evil spirit. They go into alliance with these people. That they will kill this person, they will destroy this person. There are a lot of people that God through us have saved their lives. Some of them, we don't even bring them on light. People here with him call, Papa. If there is anything, please kindly tell me. Or if God says, don't tell me, please say it on air so that everybody will know what is about to happen to me. Do you know ministers, people in political powers that have called me and said, Papa, say, if this 31st, if there is any prophecy for us, please don't even call us and tell us. Who. Say it on air. Let everybody hear what they are planning against my life. That is what some of the political people, those in power, they have money. They are rich in wealth. They are saying, say, Papa, if there is anything against us, please, we are begging you. If you don't call us and tell us, say it on air and let people know what they are planning against us. There are people they don't even have a dime. When they see you, they can't, you, you, you can even pay them and pay them and pay them and pay them and pay them. Even in your house, there are people that work in your house. They are university graduates. People that watches your cars, they are university graduates. They, they have no qualification, no degree, nothing. People that come before you and kneel down, they are people that God has blessed so much. Doctors, lawyers, people that are endowed with mighty knowledge and wisdom. There are people when you see them, that is God, God does not make mistakes. That is why he makes people like that. It is very wonderful. Now, I am the eagle prophet, the prophet of God. I'm about to declare some prophecies. Now, I'm about to declare some prophecies. The things that are going to come in, the things that are going to come and that will happen in 2020 the things that are going to come and what will happen in 2020 this is what is going to happen and that say yes the lord i'm going to i'm going to lead it i'm going to say it as this i'm going to release it as this so each and everyone should be very careful if you have pen and paper you can write these prophetic words down if you have pen and paper write them down because it's coming in our way and it's going to be some is going to be a blessing and some is going to be a curse so just get ready for me 
just get ready because we are ready and we are set on fire we have to limit the powers of the enemy people that have gone so far and uh, have taken some powers and all that we have to limit them into nothing we have to tell them that power belongs to god yes we have to tell them that power belongs to god and besides god there is nobody besides god there is nobody nobody i'm about to declare it is here my name is the eagle prophet the eagle power the eagle eye the eagle spirit no fears except god except god so i'm about to declare the prophecies 31st night into 20 31st night 2019 into 2020 i'm about to declare the prophecy what is going to happen what is about to come and what will be so just get ready for them my name is prophet the rind of the eagle prophet that is me now i start as a prophet of god we pray for our nation ghana and we pray for divine protection and we pray that let the strength of god be released of our nation and god bless our homeland ghana and make our nation great and strong to be bold and defend the good name of ghana arise ghana youth for your country the nation demands our devotion yes this is the time that we have to release this is the time we have to set on now the first prophecy goes to ghana football association the first prophecy goes to ghana football association this prophecy is going um to the ghana football association to the ghana football association the first prophecy goes to the ghana football association sometimes i i, I just wonder when i was prophesying about adum fm about kaba i said please those people there let's rise up and pray because something disastrous is about to hit them kaba something disastrous is about to hit them at home let's rise up and pray some men of god came out and they were insulting me look at this prophet he is want attention he wants attention he wants fame he wants this what me what do i want for what do i need fame for what do i need fame for i am an international person i live in ghana i live outside ghana what do i need fame for and what will i get when i get fame what i need is greatness that is what is expensive because when I get fame, it will fade away. I cannot transfer my fame to my people. I got it. I cannot transfer my fame to my people. My, but I can transfer my greatness. Yes, I can transfer my greatness. Now, listen. These are the prophetic words. These are the prophetic words. Now, these are the prophetic words. Um, we are going to pray for the Ghana Football Association. We will pray for Ghana Football Association. Because, God willing, 2020, the football of Ghana is going to stand well god well in 2020 the football of ghana is going to stand well house of folk house of folk will shine house of folk will shine better because i saw them in the light i saw them in the light house of folk will shine better and kotoko will also reach to the highest but i saw god working better things in the football um, um association of ghana and lo and behold the football association god is blessing them as well and we are going to feel the football really in Ghana, that is the year 2020. We are going to feel the real um, football. The spirit of football is coming back again. Because I saw it and God opened my eyes to see. So Ghana Football Association, please rise up and pray well. Because victory is coming. And the camp is going to be well packed. And the camp is going to be well set. And God is going to bless us. So now you have to understand and know that God willing, 2020, the Football Association of Ghana, there's going to be much blessing there's going to be much blessing in 2020 in 2020 there's going to be much blessing in 2020 in our football that spirit of football is coming back again the strength of football is coming back again because i saw a star i saw a star and the star that i saw was having the flag of ghana and inside the flag of ghana i saw a football and in that football god opened my eyes i saw a lot of calves in that football i asked god what is the meaning of this and god told me that tell the ghana football association that they should put their face in order because i the lord i am coming to visit them i am coming to visit them so house of folk and fabulous and all the other teams please rise up please rise up because gfa is about to smile again ghana our football is rising up again mark this prophecy down i am the prophet of god the eagle prophet i hear and i see and i declare as god wants me to do because god is visiting them i saw the, the strong visitation of god coming down upon the ghana football association and god is going to work things better for us 
God is going to work things better for us to the glory of the Lord because God have heard our Christ God have heard our prayer and God is bringing things in the order God is bringing things in order and it's going to be fabulous it's going to be marvelous and it's going to be wonderful so now we are getting ready for more victory that is coming over our nation because God has set a good standard upon us and we are going to get into the light and whatever God has said will surely come to pass whatever God have said will surely come to pass whatever God have said will surely come to pass and 2021 2021 Ghana will bring a powerful cap 2021 we will hold a cap and present it so 2021 we will hold a cup and present it we will present a wonderful and a powerful cup 2021 my God and my father libro fire now listen well we will pray as well for all our football players we also pray much for our football players. We also pray much for our football players. Because of that blessing that God is bringing, most of our football players will be attacked. This is what people don't understand. Because when great things are coming, the enemy will also fight back. When wonderful things are coming, the enemy will also fight back. So this is what we are going to do. This is what we are going to work it out. So as we pray for GFA to embrace that miracle, we also pray for our prayers. We pray that may God be with them. May God protect them against accident and every manner of things. Against suicide and assassination. We pray for all the players of Ghana. We pray for them. May God keep them and may God protect them from every attack of the enemy. May God just keep them from the sinners of the enemy. May God protect our players because when blessings are coming, that is where the enemy will try to fight those people that will bring their blessing. So we are going to pray for them as well that may God protect our players. The players that play for our nation, for joy to enter into us, we pray for them that may God protect them and keep them from every attack of the enemy. Now, I saw a big tree. This is an international prophecy across the borders of Ghana. I saw a big tree falling in Nigeria. I saw a victory falling in Nigeria. Probably it's not about the presidency. Probably it's not about the presidency. But I saw it among the companies. That is the, 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 the big men in Nigeria. The workers in Nigeria. And for this one, we are working to get in contact with that person. We are getting, we are working to get in touch with that person. The one that God opened my eyes to see. So we are sending that information across. We are releasing that information across. So God is with us and God will be for us. And I said God will bless us and he will change our destiny for the better. So now, this is what they have to do. So our friends also in Nigeria, we are going to pray for them. Especially those people who are in um, 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 business floor. Those who are in business floor, we are going to pray for them. But that may the strength of God be upon them. May the power of God be upon them. And may the spirit of God protect them from every attack of the enemy and I saw there is a serious thing that I also saw I saw a lot of vacancy on the presidential seat in the world a shock as never before I saw a lot of vacancy on the presidential seat in the world 2020 I saw a lot of president dying on the seat 2020 I saw a lot of president dying on the seat so as Ghana we pray for our president Congo pray for your president Nigeria pray for your president Cote d'Ivoire pray for your president we are all praying for our president this this is a world international thing because 2020 there's going to be an attack on leadership there's going to be an attack on leadership so we rise up and pray for our presidency any attack because I saw it was a general prophetic word that God opened my eyes to see I saw empty empty seats of the presidency I saw empty seats of the presidency. So we have to pray for them that whatever the enemy has plotted, whatever the enemy has planned, may God have mercy and break it for us in the name of Jesus. And now the school's authorities should fasten and increase their security. I am talking to the school authorities, the school authorities, the schools in Ghana here. Please fasten your seatbelt about your securities. Please do it well. Do it well. Do it well, please. The securities in schools, please. All the schools in Ghana here, make sure you tighten your security so well because there's going to be an increase. There's going to be an increase in kidnapping. And this thing will start mostly in schools. And I saw some schools being closed down. The parents were angry. They were taking their children out of the school. And these schools, I have named all of them. By God's grace, I'll carry the information to them. I will tell them that this is what I saw. But as, an, as, a, 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 as a declaration one, all the schools in Ghana should increase their security level. They should fasten their belt and increase their security level. That is what the enemy has planned. That is what the enemy is up to. So we have to do that. And those people that are in boarding houses, 
I saw one of the schools that was being poisoned and more than 200 students were dead. I saw one of the schools, they were being poisoned. It was a boarding school that had gone to a dining hall and in the dining hall, this is what I saw. I saw their food being poisoned and all the children that ate the food, all the children that ate the food, I saw most of them died. Some of them were hospitalized. And those people that saw it very fast, they were being saved. So now, as a prophet of God, I am declaring and I'm saying, all the matrons or whatever in our, our secondary schools and whatever, please protect your food staffs well. Let an eye be so strong. Let an eye be so strong on your food. Please let your eye be so strong on your food. This is so serious. Or else, this is going to be a serious thing that is about to happen. This same prophecy God gave to me, I told these people, and at the end of the day, finally, God rescued them. I've seen this, and I'm saying it once more. Um, God opened my eyes. These schools need to be very careful. They have to work things well. They have to be very smarter. So that whatever the enemy is planning will not happen. The devil is after the future of Ghana. And people that have to live and become great. People that have to live and become wonderful. The devil wants to assassinate them. Prematurely. So we are trying by the voice and by the eye of God. To let the enemy know that this is the plan that God has revealed to us. But the people involved need to tighten their seatbelts. Please, we don't have to sit down. When God opened my eyes, I prophesied by the Kentampo. I see this, I see these people joke with it. And at the end of the day, this is what happened. At the end of the day, this is how it came about. Please, with all due respect, as a man of God and as a prophet with high integrity, I just want to tell you that ignorance is like witchcraft. Anyone, anybody that is ignorance is a very stupid person. And it's a liking to a dog. So when people ignore or when people doubt, no problem. Because they are not wise and they are not clever. And when the devil blinds your eyes, you don't see anything. The only thing that you see is darkness. You just come out and you fool around. But listen to me. It is better to believe and live than to doubt and die. It is better to believe to live than to, live, than to doubt and die. There are so many people, there are so many people, they doubted and they are no more. There are so many people, they thought they are wise, they thought they are brave, they thought they are stronger. And just like that, evil things happen to them. So just focus and let's work things out. So we are praying for our schools. We are praying for our schools. A point being poisoned. A poisoning in a school that will cause mass barrier. That will cause a lot of barrier in our schools. So please, let's work it out. And let's pray as well. Because God is with us. And I saw a lot of assassination and people committing suicide. And these people that I saw, I saw CEOs of companies. CEOs of companies. They were committing suicide. And some were being killed. And some were being killed. And some were being killed. Assassination and committing of suicide of CEOs of companies. Assassination and committing of suicide of CEOs of companies. Assassination and committing of suicide of CEOs of companies. Now, this is a serious thing. But we pray our God will be for us. We pray our God will save them. I saw this assassination and committing of suicide of CEOs of companies. And another one, I saw companies that were being banned to cover up debt. I saw companies that were being built to cover up debt. A lot of companies were being built to cover up debt. And so this 2020, burning issue will be common. Fire will be common. 2020, fire will be common. Burning will be common. It's going to be so strong and so straight. Oh, please, please. I, I just see some people just insulting people, uh, people on my page. Please, you know what? I'm begging each and every one. Don't insult anybody. Let, let them come and speak whatever they want to speak against me. Please, don't insult anybody. Never, please. No, 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 no. Don't insult anybody. With all due respect, please. Don't, don't insult anybody. Let them insult me, rather. Yes. I prefer they insult me. Yes, let them do that. It's okay. It's okay with me. Yes, yes. My attention just been drawn that 
there are people who are insulting on my page. Please, with all due respect, I know the devil is at work, okay, you guys? The devil is at work. Whatever, whatever people want to come on my page and say, let them give them the chance. Let them do it. Okay? Please, I beg, with all due respect, please. Please. Please, with all due respect, I beg you. No one, no one should insult anybody on my page. Let them insult me. I prefer that one. Please, with all due respect, I beg. I'm a voice of God. I understand. The devil doesn't want it. The devil doesn't want it. So please, with all due respect, leave it. Me, I, I don't care whatever people are going to say about me. Yeah, that is me. They can insult me. They can insult my mother, my father who is dead. They can insult me. Whatever words they want to use, just let them, please, with all due respect. I'm begging each and every one. Leave them. It is good for them, okay? It is good for them. Let them do it. I beg. I beg. I beg. It's good for them. Please let them do it, okay? God bless you, people. I love you guys. I love you so much. I love you so much. Let them do it. It's okay. You let them do it. We just thank God for their lives, okay? Yes, may God bless them and keep them alive. God should bless them and keep them alive. Yes, God should help them. So please, no insult. I beg you. I'm begging you once more. It's not with only three uh, prophecies that I'm done. So please, I'm begging you guys, okay? Leave them. Let them insult me. I believe that. Let them insult me. I just bless them with God. I bless them with the water they drink, the food they eat. I bless them with everything. Okay, so leave them. Okay, thank you. Um, so, um, now, so we're focusing on um, burning of companies to cover our debt. Burning of companies to cover our debt. So, there are a lot of companies that are going to be banned as well. A lot of them. A lot of them. A lot of government companies are going to be banned. A lot of them. A lot of them. And this thing is there just to cover up. This, is there, this thing is there just to cover up. So please, let's work it out. Let's work it out. This thing is there just to cover up. So let's work it out and pray that we God have mercy. This thing, nothing can be done because they are going to burn their companies. They are going to burn their companies because a lot of companies is, are in debt. So they are going to burn them to cover up. That is what is going to happen. And I saw a lot of markets that is going to be burned. So I pray for political purposes. I saw a lot of markets that are going to be paid for political purposes. So please, it is my prayer that um, 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 people will just be alert about the security system in the market. People should be alert about the security system in the market. So all the market women, please, more watchmen for now, I will walk market or monu among Kasayi. More watchmen for now, walk market, monu among Kasayi. Because Nipa Bonifo Besheda Wapa et Cheja at to market him. Market and market and war were gonna have new pop on it for better day to check your atom. It's Yama Minum Mutia Minum Yama Minum Muntina make a chino, Miss Ramo Madaruma. I your friend is a watchman for a Mosha Munu Masono, a Mopoa Mukwa Mosha Mujer Mumamono, Miss Samuno Munkase no more Mominaho. Some number for watchman if only be a canoe ammonia, Miss Ramo, because a lot of markets are going to be paid. And some markets in a version of any demonical, they are not demonical, they are not demonic, it's a planting. It's a planting that people are waiting to do. It's a planting. So, Mr. Ramu, Mumma mu security system is very stronger. Said the Abaya Mojapa, the enemy is sicker. Enemy Nyoma Enkoshi. Mr. Ramu, Mr. Ramu, Madaruma, you guys should increase your security. Uh, your friend said, people in a journey. Said the Abaya Asemubia Enkoba, no sicker, Ehu Ebatono. Why? Aha. And a Ghana gospel musicians, and so. Madaroma, you guys should rise up and pray well. Ghana gospel musicians, you guys should rise up and pray very well. You guys are, you guys should rise up and pray very well. You guys should rise up and pray very well. God says, I have to tell you guys. God says, I have to tell you guys. This is a strong prophetic word that I am giving. This is a prophetic word I am giving to all the gospel musicians. Please, <laughs> please. This is a strong warning that God says I have to give to you. Please change from your evil ways. Some of you, please change from your evil ways. Some of you, please change from your evil ways. So that God will revisit you once more. I am done. My name is Prophet Rindo for Drew the Ege Prophet. These are all the prophetic words that need to be given. If 31st I stand and God says I've opened your eyes again. See this and tell the nation. I will just do it. And now, as a prophet of God, I am done. 
and God bless us all. And may the strength of God be with us. I pray for those of you watching me online. That may the strength and the power of God be upon you. Whatever the enemy has planned against your life. I declare and I decree it will never stand. Wherever they have gathered. Wherever they have come together. To fight you will never come to pass. And anyone that wants to destroy your life. I pray. May the same person's life not be destroyed. But let it extend to people. His father, his mother, his brothers, his sisters, his own children. Anyone that wants to bring your downfall, let that person not fall. But let it affect his own brother's children, his own mother and father. Whatever evil people are thinking against you, I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Let it not attack the same person who is thinking evil for you. But let it affect his brother, his sister or any of his siblings. In the name of Jesus. I make this decree as a prophet of God. If voices are spirit, then I release my voice in the realms of the spirit. And I give the spirit's work to do. That anybody that is not above my spirit, anybody that is not above my realms, anybody that is not above my rankings in the realms of the spirit, I am a principality in the realms. Anyone that is not above my level, I pray in the name of Jesus, let darkness become his friend and let disgrace cover him or her let money vanish from his or her hand and whatever the person touches let it be destroyed in the name of jesus i bless your life as a prophet of god and may heavens respond to you if the earth accept people that walk on them with an evil mind and squash them down i release tender and fire tender and fire lightning to respond to them to work for them and to release them god bless you all and may the hand of the God of Israel be with you. My name is Prophet Window for Jehovah. There you go, Prophet. No fears. No man born of a woman can venture. No man born of a woman can venture. We are spirits placed in the womb of our mother to become to have flesh so that we can bless people's life. God bless each and every one. And may the grace of God come upon us. And may the oil of the Lord be released upon us. I own nobody's explanation on this prophetic words that I have given. God has spoken. God has spoken. And twice have you heard that all power belongs to him. I love you so much. May the peace of God be with you. Sunday, across the week side, you, you just hear from me again. There's a strong prophetic word that you are doing. And don't forget, 2020 is declared as money and power. 2020 is declared as money and power. 2020 is money and power. Come and receive your prophetic direction for overflow of money. And come and receive your prophetic direction for power. Because we are facing whatever needs to come. And don't forget. Let me add this uh, prophetic. I just wanted to hide it. But let me release it. There are going to be a lot of kidnapping. More increase of them. So please just watch out for your kids and all that. And those people in the um, um, churches. Your children, Sunday school and all that. Keep an eye on them. Whatever the enemy is planning. to fear, It will never come to pass. It will never come to pass. And it will ever come. It will never ever come. No way. It will not. It will not and it will ever never come. So God be with you. I love you all. May the grace of God be with you. Sunday is another service that we're going to fire through. So may the peace of God be with us. Keep on praying for me. I'm also praying for you. So that is that. I came your way to deliver 2020 prophecies. I am done. That is me, the eager prophet. So the reverse, no more. So people that who are waiting for the eager prophet 31st December to give his prophecies, I'm done. My prophecies have been declared. Today is 11 December. Today is Wednesday. Wednesday like this. Rainbow came from heaven and landed on my church. Rainbow from heaven came and landed on my church. Rainbow came from heaven and landed on my church. Wednesday like this. So Wednesday is a day that God visited my church. Rainbow. Rainbow. It came from heaven and it landed on my church. No way. We are covenanted people. We have covenant with the Lord. So any prophetic word that I have spoken, may God be with us. So God willing, we are going to register our cars like MP. MP is money power. Yes, so um, 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 2020 is declared as money and power. So money and power, MP. So most of our cars are going to be registered MP 2020, um, 2020, 20 TEP. I'm just talking to them. That they will just work that one out for me. Yes, 2020, 2020, 2020, TEP. Yes, that is the eagle prophet for you. MP is money power. So money power, yes, is mandated. Everyone can go and, and just do it. So God bless each and everyone. I love you guys. 
May God be with you. So those of you who just came to watch me, I've already given the prophecies for 2020, what is about to come and what is about to pop up. So we pray for our government that the rest of the years that is set ahead of him, the days that are set ahead of him, months that are set of him, weeks that are set of him, he'll be able to make a massive input so that the nation will go forward. And then whatever we are praying, that it's a prayer that God will just bless the nation and God increase the, the, the life of the people that are carrying the nation on their shoulders for us. So God bless us and God be with us all. So if you want more information about the money and power, yes, the direction that we are doing, that yesterday people were just confessing with testimonies and all that, people giving testimonies from two hundred dollars to thousand five hundred dollars wow what a blessing so just be a partaker of it and your lives will never be the same yes mp henry 2020 yes 2020 20 that is what god is about to do that is uh, our stake and it's going to happen so my is mp 2020 tep the eager prophet that is wonderful yes mp yes mp so god bless you all may the peace of god be with you yes that is my name prophet windolph or drew jb the eager prophet when you're talking about the eagle prophet, we are talking about the eagle power. We are talking about the eagle eye. And we are talking about the eagle spirit. God bless each and every one. And the oil that God has given to me, it's not even oil. It's not even oil. It's not even oil. The direction is very powerful. Yesterday, those of you watched me online, you saw the miracles that God used it to do. Yes. You saw the healing power that just came up out of it. So... If you want somebody to come and stand in for you, those of you watching from outside Ghana, you can send any of your parents, any of your brothers or your sisters to just come and stand in for you. And it's going to become a blessing for you. And it, it's, it's a wonderful thing. It's a wonderful thing. And I don't sell it as well. No, I don't sell it. I don't sell it. I'll only look at serious people, then I give it to them. So God bless you. MP Daddy 2020. Yes, we all go. We all go. MP 2020. Money and power. Money and power. Money and power. Money and power, money and power. That is how we are going. MP 2020. MP 2020, MP 2020, MP 2020. Yes, yeah, so 2020 is money and power. That is MP for you. That is my name, TEP, the Eagle Prophet. God bless you so much. I leave you guys here, not in hanging, but may the peace of God be with you. I love you all. May God be with us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Love you guys. Mwah.